welcome back friends in this video we shall going to discuss about the excitation of chlorophyll by light on the light harvesting complex so be with me as we shall proceed in this lecture so kama ambavyo tume discuss kwenye mada iliyopita kwamba chlorophyll na chlorophyll a na chlorophyll b chlorophyll a yenye na absorbs sana sana red light kati chlorophyll b ina absorb sana blue violet light kwa hiyo nini ambacho kinatokea pale ambapo light ina strip kwenye chlorophyll when a molecule of chlorophyll or other for the next pigment absorbs light it is said to become excited co excited manake ni kama mtu tumesoma kwa general chemistry kwamba tunapokuwa tuna atom fulani inakwenda electron kwa ile electron inaweza kapewa energy ikawa boosted kwenda kwenye higher energy level kwa ikapandisha ikawa kwenye energy level ambayo ni ya juu that's what we call is excitation so the energy from light is used to boost the electron to a higher energy level the energy of light is now trapped in chlorophyll and transferred to chemical energy kwa hiyo chlorophyll ina ina trap ile energy from light alafu ina transfer kwenda kwenye chemical energy why kwa sababu maana yake ilivyo trap ile energy imesababisha ku boost electron kutoka pale ilipo kwa excitation ya electron kutoka pale ilipo kwenda kwenye higher energy level maana tumesha convert light energy kwenda kwenye nini kwenda kwenye chemical energy kwa hiyo chlorophyll ndio hasa inayohusika katika conversion ya hiyo energy ya light energy kwenda kwenye chemical energy ambayo hiyo chemical energy iliyotokana na excitation ya electron huwa ndio inaenda kutumika kufanya vitu vingine sasa during the process of photosynthesis so this excited state is unstable and the molecule will tend to turn to its an excited state kwa kwa sababu electron inakuwa excited na ile excited state sio permanent kwa hiyo maana yake ili molecule iweze kurudi kwenye state yake ambayo ni neutral nini kitatokea kitakachotokea ni kwamba ile molecule tutakiwa i lose ile electron ambayo ilikuwa ime imekuwa excited so the ile electron itakuwa passed kwenda kwenye other molecules ambazo zinaitwa electron acceptor so in the living plant the energy that is released can be passed to another chlorophyll molecule kwa energy inakuwa released energy inakuwa absorbed by the chlorophyll molecule in excited electron then that energy from the electron can be absorbed by another chlorophyll molecule another chlorophyll molecule chlorophyll molecule until nafika kwenye kwenye sehemu ya mwisho ambako kule inakuwa accepted by the electron acceptor alternatively the excited electron it may be passed from the chlorophyll molecule to another molecule called an electron acceptor kwa electron inaweza kutoka kwenye chlorophyll moja kwenda kwenye chlorophyll nyingine kwa mfano labda imetoka kwenye chlorophyll imetoka kwenye carotenoid kwenye hiyo ni hiyo ni photosynthetic pigment about to discuss kwenye last video then ikaenda kwenye chlorophyll b then ikafuata chlorophyll a naona so electron can jump between the chlorophylls or sometimes alternatively can jump from the chlorophyll into the electron acceptor so if the electrons have negative charge this will leave a positive hole in the chlorophyll molecule or if the electron moves from the chlorophyll into another molecule called electron acceptor this will leave a hole in the chlorophyll molecule so as you can see here this is the chlorophyll molecule in the in its normal state which is reduced form now in the presence of light energy the chlorophyll molecule becomes positively charged which is oxidized form and the electron is released so loss of electron is known as oxidation and gaining of electron is reduction so chlorophyll here it undergoes the oxidation reaction because it loses an electron so chlorophyll is therefore oxidized and the electron acceptor is reduced chlorophyll replaces its electron by removing low energy electron from another molecule described as electron donor kwa huwa mara zote hapa huko kuna kwa kuna molecule nyingine inaitwa electron donor inaweza kawa either ni water au namna nyingine yote alafu hiyo hiyo eh, electron donor ndio inayo donate electron kuja kwa nani kwa hiyo chlorophyll yote kumfanya awe tena neutral. Kwa hiyo ile electron ikitoka kwenye chlorophyll huwa mara nyingi hairud. Tutaenda kuona baadaye kuna cyclic na non cyclic photophosphorylation. Ambako tutaona kuna moja 
inarudi electron moja electron huwa hazirudi so from there this is from reference number one which is biological science kwa from there tuangalie light harvesting complex light harvesting complex light harvesting complex ni nini kwamba mmea unavyokuwa unavuta una fion za mwaka wa jua unakuwa unakusanya unakusanya mwanga kwa lugha rahisi kwa kusanya mwanga manake mwanga unakuwa unakusanya unaweka kwenye sehemu moja ili utumike that process we call it as light harvesting na kitu kinachofanya hiyo tunaita light harvesting complex kwa photosynthetic pigment are organized into two discrete photochemical which are light harvesting complex ambazo zinaitwa photosystem 1 pamoja na photosystem 2 kwa kwenye light harvesting complex tuna photosystems humo ndani. So these are named in sequence of their discovery. Sio kwamba photosystem 1 ndio yenyewe inakuwa ya kwanza photosystem 2 ya pili. Ah ah. Zimekuwa named kwa sababu photosystem 1 iligundulika kabla photosystem 2 iligundulika baadaye. So the light harvesting complexes of photosystems are made up of 100 of pigment molecule bounded to protein kwa zinakoze na pigment nyingi hizi chlorophyll pamoja na carotenoids zinakuwa bounded to protein each photosystem has a photocenter or reactive center which is fed by amount of 200 harvesting pigment molecule kwa kila photosystem inakuwa na photocenter au reactive center kwa reactive center pale ndipo ambapo reaction fulani inakuwa inatokea reaction ya kuweza kuexcite electron kwa kwingine kule kuna kwa kuna collect eh, kuna collect light kwenda kwenye nani kwenye reactive center kwa reactive center pale pale ndipo ambapo excitation of electron inatokea ile electron inaenda kuwa inaenda kuwa received by the electron acceptor kwenye chlorophyll nyingine excitation of electron inatokea lakini electron is received by another chlorophyll molecule so the photocenter consists of a special chlorophyll a molecule special chlorophyll a molecule the phot photocenter in different in both photosystems so photocenter inatofautiana kwenye photosystem 1 na kwenye photosystem 2 kwenye photosystem 1 the reaction center or chlorophyll a has absorption peak at near saba micrometer kwa kwenye chlorophyll kwenye photosystem 1 hiyo chlorophyll ina absorb sana kwenye mwanga wa 7 micrometer hence it is called p 7 kwa hili in photosystem 2 it has absorption maxima at 780 micrometer and it is called p 780 This is from reference number 3 as you shall see later in the list of references for for these lectures. So hapa manake unaweza kuona kwamba photosystem 1 ina absorb wavelength kubwa kuliko photosystem 2 because photosystem 1 ina absorb wavelength ya 7 photosystem 2 ina absorb wavelength ya 680. Kwa photosystem 1 is sometimes called p ya 7 and photosystem 2 is sometimes called p ya 780. So the harvesting molecules are of two types. We have antenna molecule and the core molecule. Antenna molecule they absorb light of different wavelength but shorter than of photocenter. So they absorb light of different wavelength and they they collect it to the photocenter. The excited antenna molecule pass over their energy to the core molecule by resonance and comes to the ground state. So the antenna molecule they just act as antenna collecting different lights and uh, the collecting energy from light by means of excited electrons then the excited electrons they pass by resonance to the to the photocenter so the energy picked up by the core molecule is handed over to the photocenter the energy picked up by the antenna molecule is handed over to the photocenter on the absorption peak this is not by the by the core molecule it is by the antenna molecule antenna molecule the energy picked up by the antenna molecule okay to the um, this is core I've mistaken to edit here this is core molecule by resonance and comes to the ground state the energy picked up by the this is now antenna by the the energy picked up by the antenna molecule is handed over to the photocenter so on absorption of energy the photocenter becomes excited 
and eject an electron, after which it comes to the ground state to repeat the cycle. So the 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 antenna molecule they become excited, then they pass electron to the to the photocenter, and even the photocenter it is excited, and then it ejects electron to the electron acceptors, and then it becomes to the ground state. So after which it becomes to the ground state to repeat the cycle. So the frequency of excitation of the photocenter is very high. It cannot be met by direct absorption of some energy. Therefore, photocenter requires the help of a vesting molecule in absorption of light energy. So the, the core molecule or the photocenter requires the antenna molecule. So what antenna molecules does, they collect, they collect light from, from, I mean they collect light energy and then it is accumulated in the photocenter. Kwa hiyo, antenna molecules na kusanya mwanga, then zina ukusanya kwenda kwenye photocenter. Kama ingekuwa antenna molecule, yani kama ingekuwa kuna antenna molecule moja, inapereka kwenye photocenter moja, isingeza kwa excite. Kwa antenna molecule nyingi zina kusanya mwanga, zina pereka kwenye photocenter moja. Now, light is captured by plant by using a mixture of pigment, including chlorophyll within thylakoid membrane of chloroplast. So, chlorophyll molecules are arranged along with the accessory pigment into a group of several hundred molecules. Ambazo accessory pigment, do you want carotenoids. Each group is called antenna complex. Special protein associated with those pigment help to funnel the photons. Funneling. Kwa funnel manake ni kama kuzi direct. Kama nufuji wa filter, yotu nufuji wa hile funnel uwe na fanya kazi ya uku na weka labda liquid kule naenda kuwa very thin in end up to calculate thing. So they hope to funnel the fo photons of light entering the chloroplast. One special molecule of chlorophyll A known as the active center. So they funnel all the electrons to the chlorophyll A which is the active center and which can be either the P the chlorophyll A in P near themanini or in P near saba. So when the light strikes this molecule, an electron in its orbit is raised to high energy level. This initiates a flow of electrons. That is, that is what will lead to the process of photophosphorylation. So that's all about the photosystems. And let's discuss here one photosystem after another. Photosystem 1, it lies on the outer surface of thylakoid. So photosystem 1 is conge and it has more of chlorophyll A than chlorophyll B and carotenoids. So photosystem 1 has a special chlorophyll A molecule called P Nyasaba along with other pigment. Of these, P Nyasaba acts as a reaction center. It is surrounded by other chlorophyll A molecule followed by chlorophyll B and carotenoids. So they start chlorophyll A, then outside chlorophyll B, then after chlorophyll B outside the air, Cardinals. So cardinals they are outside because of their property of the ability of absorbing light. So light can streak either cardinals or chlorophyll B or chlorophyll A. But in all of, of those routes the light is absorbed and is used in for things. So it is absorption light of both wavelengths shorter as well as longer than Mr. Semanin with peak absorption at Miasaba micrometer. So it can absorb light of both longer or shorter length as compared to Mr. Semanin, but peak absorption is Mr. So it takes part in both cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. And we shall see later what is the meaning of, of the word photophosphorylation. Photosystem 1 can carry, can carry on cyclic photophosphorylation independently. So in the cyclic photophosphorylation, it requires or it uses only photosystem 1. Then, photosystem 2, it occur in the inner, sorry, photosystem 2, it occur in the inner surface of the thyroid and it has chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B and carotenoids. The carotenoid C content is higher as compared to the photosystem 1. Photosystem 2 has a special chlorophyll A molecule called p along with other pigment molecules. Of these p act as reaction center. Konozo kona kwamba photosystem 2 ya nyetu ina pimi ya stasi manini, ina carotenoid nyingi, carotenoid nyingi kuliko photosystem 1. It is surrounded by other chlorophyll A. 
then chlorophyll B na carotenoid molecule. It absorbs a light of wavelength shorter than mia sita semanini with peak absorption at mia sita semanini. Kwa hii na absorb wavelength ambazo ni shorter than mia sita semanini with peak at mia sita semanini. Kule kwenye photosystem 1 ni kwenye absorb wavelength ambazo ni either shorter or longer to mia sita semanini with peak at mia saba. So photosystem 2 is involved in the non-cyclic photophosphorylation and cannot operate only in conjugation with and can you operate only in conjugation with in conjugation with photosystem 1 kwa bila photosystem 1 photosystem 2 haiwezi kufanya kazi unaona hapo na pia tutaenda kuona pia kwenye hizi photosystem kwamba photosystem 2 ndio inayoanza kwenye mambo ya reaction za hizo nani nani cyclic photosystem inaanza photosystem 2 ndio inafuata photosystem 1 kwa hiyo ina picha hapa ambayo inaweza kukuonyesha hiyo light harvesting complex ipo kwamba ukiangalia hapa umwango ulikuwa unatoka huku na carotenoids kuna chlorophyll B kuna chlorophyll A hapa mwanga mwingine ume, ume streak kwenye carotenoids mwingine ume streak kwenye chlorophyll B mwingine ume streak kwenye chlorophyll A lakini ulio streak kwenye carotenoids electron imetoka kwenye carotenoid imeenda kwenye chlorophyll B imekuja kwenye chlorophyll A afu ilipotoka chlorophyll A imekuja kwenye reactive center hivyo streak kwenye chlorophyll B imekuja kwenye chlorophyll A kwenye reactive center Hivyo streak of A kaenda moja kwa moja kwenye reactive center. Huko na low energy electron from electron donor. Kwa maana yake huko unaona energy from both of these light harvesting complex. Unaona hii hapa ni light harvesting complex. Energy from this is collected into the into the reactive center which is either P-680 or P-7 which are for systems. So here we have high energy electrons in these light harvesting complex. And then in the reactive centers we have low energy level so the electron which are at high energy level here here they are seem to be energy very higher high energy electron to an electron except so here the energy the electrons they are they are ejected again from the reactive centers to the electron receptors as we shall see later in the process of of phosphorylation i mean photophosphorylation so in this video I shall end here and I'm sure that in the next video we shall start the discussion on the process of thinness and the process of the whole process of photophosphorylation. So stay with me, subscribe my channel and join my telegram group. If you need these notes, they can be found in a pamphlet in hard copy and they are sold in 10,000. So anyone who needs them can contact me. My contacts are there in the telegram group and then we shall discuss later what can we do so it can be leached by these notes. Thank you.